Okay, today we're going to be talking about LA's most precious sludge. And no, I'm not talking about the MCU, I'm talking about oil, petroleum, the slicky icky. You see, Los Angeles has a massive petroleum industry that digs for oil right in the middle of the city. But I wouldn't blame you for not knowing that because they do a really good job of keeping it a secret. It turns out LA County actually produces a whopping 18 million barrels of oil a year. And sure, Houston can do that in like a week, but half of Houston looks like this and Texas public schools still consider crude oil a vegetable. What's unique about LA's oil wells is that they're not all sitting in some barren oil fields on the outskirts of LA, they're actually in LA, hiding between the cafe bookstores and the bookstore cafes. There are thousands of these rigs scattered throughout the city, and most of them are digging for that sweet black dinosaur vinegar within 1,500 feet of a house, school, church, or hospital. Now, unless you've always wanted to live within walking distance of a giant piece of industrial petroleum pumping equipment, which knowing my audience is probably most of you, you might be wondering, how the hell do people put up with this? Well, the answer is, most Angelinos don't even realize that they're living in the middle of a massive oil field. For most of the city's history, the oil industry was pretty hard to ignore. There were giant oil derricks along the streets and the beaches, crude oil frequently ended up in people's houses and yards, and lighting the candles on your birthday cake was probably the most dangerous thing you'd do all year. The Angelinos were so knee-deep in black gold, in fact, that during the Second World War, they even voted to install oil pumps in their own backyards. While that might sound a little crazy now, this is essentially the entire reason that Los Angeles was able to become such a massive metropolis. For a while there, LA alone was generating more than a quarter of the world's oil and everyone was getting filthy rich. Or at least getting filthy. Of course, the public's enthusiasm for these thousands of greasy Eiffel Towers didn't last forever, and eventually the people of LA decided that their city needed to look less like this and more like this. So the petroleum companies devised the most American solution possible. Keep drilling for oil and just cover it up. Like literally cover it up. Let me explain. In the 1960s, Occidental Petroleum wanted to drill for oil in this Orthodox Jewish neighborhood outside of Beverly Hills. Now, the petroleum executives knew exactly two things about the Orthodox Jewish community. One, they didn't like giant oil derricks, and two, they seemed to like synagogues. So as a compromise, Occidental Petroleum decided that they were going to build a giant oil derrick, but they would disguise it as a synagogue. Or at least something resembling a synagogue, kind of. What's important, though, is that the building didn't end up looking as ugly as this, which was so exciting that the mayor of LA personally attended the ribbon cutting and called this beige rectangle, quote, an outstanding contribution to civic beauty. From the 60s onward, all sorts of these disguised oil derricks started popping up around LA. There are even entire oil pumping platforms off the coast of Long Beach that are disguised to look like islands, with trees, fake buildings, and artificial waterfalls to mask the sounds of drilling, pumping, and business guys jumping into giant pools of gold coins. Of course, most of the wells aren't as cleverly hidden. They're just sitting in big windowless boxes like this or this. And some are still more or less sitting out in the open, like this one, the Tower of Hope. This oil derrick operated right in the middle of a local high school, and despite the fact that it was about as well hidden as a brand new oil derrick on Christmas morning, it was beloved for its floral walls painted by thousands of local sick children. That is, until it allegedly started getting all the other children sick and the school renamed it the Tower of Hope You Don't Get Cancer. Whoops! Now, if you're feeling left out because you don't live in LA, don't worry, this sort of thing isn't unique to LA, or for that matter, the petroleum industry. This apartment at 58 Jorah Lemon Street in Brooklyn, New York, for example, might look like the home of an introverted vampire or a particularly distressed squid, but the windows are blacked out because the whole thing is actually just a ventilation shaft for the subway below. Same deal with this sculpture in Nuremberg, Germany, depicting the life and death of a married couple. If you find yourself tearing up around it, it's probably just the subway fumes. And in Toronto, it can be hard to tell whether your neighbor is a human being or a hydroelectric substation because their hydroelectric substations live in buildings like this. Most major cities have some clever way of hiding ugly infrastructure, and that's probably for the best. Just don't be surprised if you never meet anyone from the windowless apartment building across the street. Of course, sipping that spicy Jurassic juice in the middle of one of the world's largest cities doesn't always go spectacularly, like back in October when 126,000 gallons of the stuff leaked out of a pipeline off the coast of Long Beach, causing an environmental disaster and, worst of all, cancelling an air show that, I swear this is true, I was planning on going to. On the bright side, at least I was able to stay up to date on the issue thanks to my subscription to Morning Brew. Every morning, instead of doom scrolling Twitter or TikTok, I check my email inbox and catch up on the latest stories in business, finance, and tech in about 5 or 10 minutes with their daily daily newsletter. Unlike traditional news, Morning Brew is witty, relevant, and informative in a really short, consumable length. Plus, the newsletter is completely free, so there's really no reason not to subscribe if you're interested in staying informed and up-to-date on what's happening in the world, so click the button on screen or head to the link in the description to sign up now.